When we treat early stage breast cancer, we know that the majority of patients will not recur. But we're not perfect yet at figuring out which patients will recur, sometimes five years later, 10 years later, 15 years later. We have some recent trials that have looked at taking what used to be our standard of five years of anti-estrogen therapy and extending it out to 10 years or even beyond. And the trials with tamoxifen, which is still a very important drug for premenopausal women, showed that longer was better in general, uh, although most patients on trials of five versus 10 years of tamoxifen didn't recur in either arm. But there was a significant difference, statistically, of about three or four uh, percent for continuing tamoxifen for 10 years instead of five years. That's called extended duration therapy. So we look carefully at who we think is still at risk of recurrence when they finish five years. How well did they tolerate the drug? What kind of side effects did they have from it? And make decisions about extending beyond five years based on all of those factors. More recently, we have data on a class of drugs called aromatase inhibitors. That's the primary class of anti-estrogen therapy that we use to treat postmenopausal women whose tumors express the estrogen receptor. There are three drugs in that category, letrozole, also known as Femara, anastrozole, also known as Arimidex, and Eximestane, also known as Aromacin. We have some data on a benefit, small benefit, to extending the duration of aromatase inhibitors beyond five years, which is the old classic. So I think we're all scratching our heads about these aromatase inhibitors and whether there is true value and whether the benefits outweigh the toxicities because there are side effects, including more bone fractures and osteoporosis. Certainly hot flashes and joint aches uh, are also side effects of these drugs. And the longer you're on them, the more of those side effects. So there is some data. It should be discussed. And we usually wait until the five-year mark uh, before making decisions about whether or not we recommend extending these anti-estrogen drugs.